Hi folks, I've got a really neat uh, D lick for you this week. Well, specifically it's a D7 lick uh, that I heard Ron Stewart play something similar to this on uh, one, of, uh, one of his songs. I'll talk about that in just a minute. But here's the lick. Okay, and you can play that lick on uh, most of the same songs that you, you can play the J.D. Crow split D lick that I talked about in my last video. Okay, that one. So this one's got a little more tension because you're playing the seventh note, the D7, which is a C note. Okay, and like I said, I heard Ron Stewart play it on uh, a song called Gonna Settle Down. I think that was on the Clay Jones CD that he uh, played banjo on, and it sounded something like this. So uh, sounds good in a lot of the same places. However, it probably won't go in quite as many because some songs just don't have that seventh feel and adding that tension, that D7 note doesn't work on every single song. So be careful with it. But I thought it was a pretty neat uh, and unique flick. I haven't heard tons of people play something like that. So I wanted to show that to you guys and after I figured out what was going on. And I've got my high tech tab, Woo! paper and a marker. Uh, anyway, I've got it written over two measures, uh, all eighth notes except for the very last note, that big fat fourth string, D string open, bong, uh, which is always fun to play. So a couple things to note about this tab, and that is it's a lot of thumb and middle. In fact, you only hit the index finger twice, once on a forward roll here, okay, and then once on the backwards roll here on the third string. Everything else is thumb and middle. Okay, the other thing I want to point out to you is that uh, that C note, that which makes the seventh of the chord, you actually only hit it twice. And the first time you hit it with the thumb for emphasis, okay? Uh, and then you hit it again one more time here in a forward roll, and then that's the only two times you hit that. And if you look across the bottom there, you've got thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb, middle. Yeah, a lot of thumb and middle. Uh, and then you've got uh, thumb index, middle, and then thumb, middle, thumb, middle, index thumb so i'll just let it speak for itself so if you need to uh, take a screenshot of that or open up another tab or pause it or come back to it later there you go that should help but i do want to play it for you a couple times slow it down and also show you another couple places it can go all right so here we go sometimes with these licks that become automatic and muscle memory it's hard to slow them down so we'll see how this goes but so here it is a little bit more up to speed and trying to slow it down that's it a little bit slower Oh, messed up. That's it. All right, so hopefully that's enough for between the tab and slowing it down for you to catch the lick. Uh, we played it in Gonna Settle Down. You can play it in other types of songs like that, especially vocal numbers that have the, the D chord or the five chord in the middle, things like um, Take Me in Your Lifeboat. Um, it also goes good in a song like Little Darling Pal of Mine. So let me play that for you. All right, so it goes really good there instead of the, the other D. Uh, I think when Earl played it, it was kind of a forward roll uh, on the D, the split position kind of thing. But playing that D7 uh, lick will also work very well. And depends on how fast you can play it, you can get it in really fast songs like um, Rolling My Sweet Baby's Arms. I'll, I shall try it. I don't know if, it'll, if I can get it in or not, but here we go. <laughs> I 
I got the lick in right. So uh, we'll, we'll leave that in for you guys. So hopefully that is uh, enough for you to catch on to that. I really like it. I haven't heard a lot of people play that exact same lick, at least to my ears, I haven't. Uh, and having that seventh note. It, uh, it really kind of perks your ears up a little bit compared to some other D-licks. All right, you guys try that in some songs and have fun with that. But keep in mind, it may not work in every uh, every song that you've got a D chord like that because of that seventh note kind of conflicts. So just if it feels right, do it. If it doesn't, then don't play it. All right, have fun. See you next time.